I wouldn't say it's for the faint hearted. You need to fight for your freedom, 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 freedom. Good morning. We're off to the DMZ, the North Korean border. Here we go. I'm Julie, your tour guide today. You're a girl, totally. They're out the tour. So if you have any questions, the DMZ, composed of three spots, observatory, tunnel, and unification village. We're approaching the first stop on the suspension bridge. And I suppose we can go up the mountain and it's the nearest mountain to the border. So we might be able to see into North Korea. We made it to the mountain, now we're gonna go for a hike up the top. Let's go. What do you call a forest animal that can't see? No idea. It's a beautiful trail. It's very cold in my opinion. Quite steep, but it's very beautiful. The mountains of the border of South Korea, North Korea. So this looks like one of the bunkers they were talking about, where during the war, they used to hide and take cover in here. So let's check it out. Get in there, Jess. Get in there. Another bunker. It's probably the same thing, but we'll have another look. It looks bigger. Looks a bit bigger. More room. They even got some snacks here. <laughs> What do you call a forest animal that can't see and has no legs? Still no idea. We made it to the bridge, now we're going to walk across and see what's on the other side. a very steep walk so keep that in mind if you want to come up here it's very steep i wouldn't say it's for the faint hearted you can do it it just might take you some time this looks like a mountain temple there's a whole bunch of temples and other buildings around here it's very peaceful Not gonna have time, have to head back for the tour, but it looks like there's an awesome lookout over there. So that's the bridge we came over. So I gotta walk back down there, across, and then back down to the bus. So Korea was colony of Japan. Japan treated colony Korea as their colony. The interests of Korea were totally subordinate to the interests of Japan in five years. However, the Cold War between Soviet Union and United Nations ensured there is no agreement to hold one election for one Korea. Retake our capital city of Seoul. That was September 1915. Uh, 
We've made it to the Peace Park. This is where we have to buy tickets to enter the DMV. So the tour guide has taken all our passports and is off to buy tickets. So hopefully she comes back soon. And they also said that the military would come on board and be checking our passports as well. So I'm not sure I'll be able to film that, but that should happen soon. <laughs> Jason's on passport duty. Yeah. Good man. I don't know if you'd believe it, but there's a theme park here with riots. I'm not sure this is the most fun and joyous place to be, but there it is. We got DMZ Live. Pops off. It's not bad. It's actually good. But still, history is history, right? Yeah. The fact is, we're going to try. And South Korea soldiers, North Korea soldiers facing off only a few feet from each other. It's a very famous image. I think some of you know or not. So I'll tell you more on the bus. Just remember this image, okay? These are all the famous photos. We'll find more about that. And this is where, I think that's where Trump must have gone. Train took weapons, ammunition, food supply to the front line during Korean War. So this was the last train that came and went to and from North Korea. And yeah, you can see all the bullet holes. Supposedly the American military just shot it up because they wanted to cut off all the train lines from North Korea to South Korea many years ago. Important history here. This is the peace train. We've got the Aussie flag, Filo flag, French, Turkey, everyone. It's all about peace. So here we can buy some North Korean money. I think that's a pretty unique souvenir. I'll try and get some. Okay guys, we got the full book of North Korean money. So the total price was 150,000 won, which is maybe 175, 200 Aussie dollars. Check it out. So we've got some, I think there's some old currency and some new currency as well before and after the war. Like how's that for a unique souvenir? Not many people would have this souvenir. Awesome stuff. This is the war memorial, memorizing obviously the Korean soldiers who fought in the war. Got to respect these places. So we stopped at the CCL, which is the civilian control line. So this is where and, the military comes uh, yeah, on and checks the take some time. Yeah. Oh, cow. cow statue, yeah. Oh, cow. We will see one more on the way back, okay? We will see this family, Cow Bridge. So now we've crossed the CCL, okay? We are getting very close to the DMC, yeah. This is the last toll gate to North Korea. That was the south limit line, so that is literally the crossing into the DMZ, the demilitarized zone area. So this is like a museum explaining the history of the DMZ, and now we're going to go into the third tunnel, the tunnel where the North Koreans dug to send their army into South Korea. Today, we're going to explore up to 265 meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so under there, there are three walls. One, two, three. We is the village these walls to prevent the usage of North Korea back then. Mm -hmm. But now they are not interested in tunnel because they have... So we're putting all our stuff inside the locker. I can't bring it in with us to the tunnel. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I just finished going down the tunnel. Basically, you have to put a helmet on. You walk down about 400 meters, the tunnel, the first tunnel. It's like downhill, so it's very steep when you come back up. 
and then you go into the actual tunnel that the North Koreans dug. And when you go right to the end, there's a wall. But the wall have, has a hole in it. And through the hole, you can see through a second wall. And through the second wall, there's another window. And you can see into what is technically North Korea. So now we've seen North Korea. And then we have to walk back through the, back through the tunnel and back up the hill. Hitting your head along the way, it's quite low. And yeah, it's quite tough, but it was a good experience. Jason made it. How was it? <laughs> I think you found it difficult, but it's a unique experience and you can say you've done it. And supposedly there's a fake village for propaganda. <laughs> so I just had a look in the binoculars. Pretty creepy. You can actually see very clearly. You can see the buildings that look empty. But I looked closely and walking on the field in front of the flagpole was a group of people. So those people are North Koreans. They can't leave. And I'll leave the politics out of it. But if you're watching this, you need to value your freedom and fight for your freedom. Don't let governments or people power and be overall on our fundamental human rights but yeah it was quite an experience that's for sure it put it puts everything into perspective right so this side is south korea and this side is north korea the screen shows you zoomed in all the landmarks that they know of in north korea I never see, did you see? Uh, did you see? Did you see? Did you see? Did you see? Just found this other theatre. This actually has a better view. So this is the border here. So South Korea, North Korea. We arrived back to Myeongdong after the tour. It was 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend going to see the North Korea border if you're in Seoul, Korea. Um, one of the things I'll remember for life. It's a unique experience. You can't get it anywhere else. Yeah, definitely worth it. It was a great time. We started at 7, we got back here about 4.30. So it is a long day, keep that in mind. But you gotta do it. <laughs> 